Today, I am pleased to announce that starting July 12th, our government is raising the speed limit permanently from 100 kilometers per hour to 110 kilometers per hour on 10 additional sections of provincial highways in northern and southern Ontario. The Ontario Minister of Transportation making the announcement in Hamilton. Highway 403 near Brantford will get an increase to 110 kilometers an hour, as well as about 250 kilometers of Highway 401, which includes parts of Kingston and Belleville, and a stretch of Sudbury and French River in northern Ontario. All the highway sections we've selected were based on their ability to safely accommodate higher speeds. There are trade-offs with everything. Um, faster speeds provide some uh, small incremental improvement uh, in, in uh, people's travel times when there's open roads. Uh, there's also, but there are issues around how much uh, fuel is used. Uh, it's more fuel intensive to go at faster speeds. I think that overall, uh, this, uh, as long as it can be done safely, this uh, is uh, uh, something that uh, makes sense uh, if it can be done safely across the... The announcement follows the Ford government's 2019 pilot project and then permanent speed increase on six sections of highway in 2022, which included a part of Highway 404. Some on social media calling this change out, saying it will affect the environment, while ex Experts believe this decision is on brand with this government's base. Uh, this government has been laser focused on motorists, uh, motorists in terms of building new highways, in terms of taking off fees, in terms of uh, uh, dropping the gas tax. Uh, they've recognized that that uh, car drivers, especially in the suburban areas around Greater Toronto and elsewhere, are an important part of their electoral coalition. It's one of these proposals that's very noticeable. Now, how many people will actually use it on the roads that we have today that are very busy, uh, often congested? Oftentimes, the problem isn't going too fast. It's going far too slow uh, for what the road can handle and being uh, in gridlock, uh, which is also not great for the environment when you have cars idling and belching. Again, the change from 100 kilometers an hour to 110 kilometers on some highways in Ontario is set to begin on July 12th. Head over to citynews.ca to see the full list of provincial highways that are expected to increase. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.